Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this video I'm going to show you how to add a custom handwritten title to your videos and projects. So all you're going to need for this is a white piece of paper and a dark marker. Black will work best. You want to just write out whatever words, scribbles, smiley faces, or lines you want on the paper, and then you can either take a video or photo of the paper with your phone or whatever camera you're going to use to create your project. All right, so once you've imported a clean photo or video of the writing into your computer, you could drag it into Premiere Pro into the media bin, and then we can begin dragging it into our project. So I'll take this clip and I'll place it right over top of whatever video or clips I'd want to put it on. So you can see the photo from the iPhone is a lot bigger than this sequence size. So I'll just click on the clip and adjust the scale and lower it until the text is the size and position that I want. Don't worry about the edges, we're going to blend and mask those out. So now how to get this to blend into the image as if it was a normal text. First, to roughly prepare our image and prevent any blemishes that we miss later on, let's grab the pen tool and create a rough outline of our actual text. So it doesn't have to be exact at all. You could even use the rectangle tool if you want, but I'm just going to use the pen tool and create a very rough box around the text. And we can add a bit of mask feather just to prevent any rough edges in future steps. Next, you have to decide if you want your text to be the original black color or you want to make it white so that it fits on your image better. If you wanted it to be black, then, then you just set the blending mode to multiply. And if you wanted it to be white, then you'd use the blending mode of screen. However, you can see there's still some adjustments we have to make about the color. So open up the Lumetri Color tab and here you can see I'm, I want white text. So right now, the first step that I have to do is invert the colors. So under the curves panel, we can actually just take the red, green, blue line and just invert it. So pull the shadows all the way up to the highlights and pull the highlights all the way down to the shadows. So now you can see we've created an inversion. And the next step is to just create some more contrast between the black and the white so that the blending mode isn't picking up the paper anymore. So you can do some of this in the curves menu. For example, I can pull the highlights down some more and that practically eliminates things. I can also pull the shadows up to create a contrast with that S curve. And as long as you had a somewhat good contrast between white paper and black Sharpie, you should be able to easily make the background disappear as you can see here. Just be careful not to go too extreme with the contrast and the text will start to get a little too sharp and clippy. Alternatively, you can go into the basic correction section and tweak the exposure down or up as well as the shadows and whites and blacks down or up in order to get your background to disappear and your text to pop. That would be the same process whether you wanted your text to be black or white. It's just that if you wanted it to be black, you'd use multiply to have things be darkened and just don't invert it. From here, if you actually even wanted to add a custom color to this handwritten text once you've separated it, you could go to File, New, Color Matte, and here you'd be able to pick any color you want and it'll create a solid colored matte for you in your project media bin. Then you'd actually want to click and drag that color matte underneath the text. So I'm going to do some rearranging here. I'll put the text on track four and I'll put the color matte underneath. And then in the effects panel, look for an effect called Track Matte Key. It should be in the keying folder of the video effects and drag that onto that blue color or whatever color matte you just made. And then for the matte, select track four or whatever track that your text is on. And then for the composite using section, change it from alpha to luma, which determines it based on brightness. And this will work for your white text. Or you could also check the reverse box to get another interesting look. But that's how you can get a custom color to fill into your text if you guys were going to ask that. From here, if you wanted to animate the text in some way, you could add different keyframed effects or transitions. And if you had a color effect on it as well, you could just nest those sequences by right clicking and nesting them into their own sequence. And then you could add transitions onto them like pushes or slides if you wanted to create some simple movement or fade things in and out. So if you enjoyed this video, then make sure you check out my channel for more tutorials and subscribe to stay tuned for all of my new videos. Also, you can follow me on social media at Justin Odisho on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook if you want to stay tuned for more. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.